Well, here there, Mission Control. We are on our way to make our first of what will probably end up being many uh, pickups from a uh, supplier, metal supplier. Uh, this is so we can build the belly bay. So today we're going to be picking up all the primary framing, cross members, and the sheet metal that we need to build the belly bay structure as well as the uh, door for the belly bay. I just got done ordering all the primary fasteners off of McMaster car. It was uh, pretty easy to do that since I used their parts when I was doing the CAD design so all I had to do was pull up the bill of materials and uh, that allowed me to, to get them procured pretty easily so they are on their way. And I got an email that says uh, all the tools are in uh, and ready for pickup so tomorrow we'll be picking up uh, the primary set of tools that we need to do the fabrication of the belly bay as well as to uh, cut everything off the trailer that we don't need and to cut the doors and everything that we need to put in place. So pretty excited about that. Uh, any excuse to get a tool is a good excuse. So that's way cool that we have that going for us. I'm excited. And uh, yeah, today I actually uh, went out and kind of reorganized the barn a little bit in order to prep for this delivery. Uh, I've got the flatbed on the truck right now. We're going to go into town. It's kind of rainy, wet, and uh, you know, metal doesn't enjoy being wet, uh, especially for extended periods of time. I don't think there's any way I can really avoid getting it wet today, uh, but I, I reorganized the barn so that I could park everything in there tonight and then uh, kind of set it all out and then we'll get some heat on it get it all dried out, try to avoid getting rust on it. It's not that big a deal if it does get rust, you just gotta grind it off, sand it off, it won't be much, and then we'll get everything primed and painted as we go through stuff. Um, so it's all gonna get wet as we traverse the site anyway, so not a huge deal. But uh, yeah, I got the barn all set up, uh, even got some of the flooring put in. Uh, so I have additional workspace now, so I have the primary slab in the barn as well as this extra workspace uh, that I created, so that's pretty cool. And now I just got an hour and a half, uh, let's see, an yeah, hour and 19 minutes uh, till I get to the supplier and then we'll load everything up and head on back to the ranch where we can uh, get everything parked. It's probably all I get done today since it... Uh, about two in the afternoon and uh, it took me it took me quite a few hours to get the barn all set up definitely not exactly how I wanted the day to go but I have my list here I have the Microsoft project schedule I put it right away and uh, to, this is this week's to-do list and so far I'm looking pretty good uh, we have a lot of stuff to do um, but we are making ooh, it's windy uh, we're making progress. Lots of procurements uh, got done today. Uh, they're on their way here. Weather's still cooperating, so that's really great. Ah, I think that's pretty much it. So here I am at the Metal Supermarket, and I'm picking up our first load. Pretty cool. All right, we are all loaded up. It's exciting having the first load. Just got to get it home safe. I got my ratchet straps on. I got rope on. I got it. I got that thing tied down tight. But I always get worried when uh, when I do this stuff because I've had bad experiences where I don't get it all tied down enough. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, then bad things happen. So. The sooner I get home, the better. Do a little driving around here, let the load shift around, and then uh, check it all again, tighten it up, and we will be on our way home. Gonna be a long night. It's five o'clock. I guess it's not gonna be too long. It's just gonna be a long day, and that's gonna end in the night because it is 4.52 and already dark. I haven't eaten and I was stupid I should have put a cliff bar in my pocket on my way out the door but I was in a hurry trying to get everything done 
do what they say can't be done. But we got a long way to go and a short time to get there. I'm eastbound, just watch that marsh and run. Yeah, on the driveway, made it home. Just going in the city, man, it always zaps me, you know. Happy to be back. So I'm gonna get to the house here. We're gonna back the truck in with the trailer into the barn, feed the animals, and just let everything sit out there for the night. And then tomorrow, get out there, we'll unload everything. And we'll go get the tools. There. What's up? Alright, we made it safe and sound. And all the metal made it with us. And the work area over here is drying. It's gonna be nice to work on. Windy outside. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Really appreciate you following along. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. Always appreciate that. Uh, and don't forget to check out my wife's uh, blog at theblossomingtable.com. Thanks, everybody. This is Real Martian. Out.